Alrighty, my name is Efna, and I will be running the Super Black Bass Any% percent Run for this evening. Hopefully I won't have to reset too many times. This game is completely, utterly unforgiving in the randomness that it will give you when you're trying to do a speed run. So, without further ado, let's... Go ahead, get started catching some super black bass. I'm excited about this game because, yeah, it's just a fishing game, but it is fun to play. I played it as a kid, and once I found out there were people actually speedrunning the game, I was like, I, I need to do that. That's gonna be me! And so I looked into speedrunning it, and I'm the current world record holder uh, within 1 hour 32 minutes and 59 seconds. I'm developing some fairly new strats with regard to manipulating that very strong RNG, um, so we'll see if I can get far enough through the game tonight where we'll actually uh, showcase some of those new strats. Um, so the first little bit of RNG here is going to be the weather uh, for Lake 1. Looks like it's going to be cloudy with no wind. Perfect. The weather for Lake 1 really doesn't matter that much. Um, it will change kind of the spawn locations, but uh, there's only really three fish you can uh, catch in Lake 1, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, so uh, without further ado, we're going to get started here, and time will start when I have control of my boat, which is just shortly here. And we are off. Very cloudy, or foggy. Foggy, it's hard to see there. But hopefully we'll, we should be able to see the fish fairly easily. And that's the first spawn location right above those top reeds on the left. The second spawn location is down here below. And we got a bass. All right. Very visible. Nice and visible. Got a smaller one trying to go after it. We'll see if we can get the bigger one to go after it. Oh, he's mudding a little bit. Turning up all that dirt. Let's see if he can bite this lure here. Oh. Come on. Come on. You want it. No, he wasn't going after it this time, so we'll try again. Alrighty, I'll stay a little bit further away from the boat, so give me plenty of time to chase after this lure here. And there we go. And we got our first fish. All right. Good deal. Hopefully it's a decent size. It's all right. And we leveled up. As long as you catch a decent sized fish, you're normally going to level up on the first fish. We'll check over here for our second fish. Go ahead and update my stats. And we got our second fish, but unfortunately it's a trout, not a bass. We've got one other spawn location we can check. And all three of these spawn locations are pretty close to the boat. And we got another bass. All right. Let's see if we can get him in here pretty quickly. Hopefully, he won't give us too much trouble with, with as much RNG as there are with the fish. It sure can be a pain sometimes. So we try to hook him a little bit closer to the boat. So it's real easy to pull in. Just like that. They don't always go that easy, though. I will forewarn you.
Got to stay hydrated. All right, we'll go back out to reset the spawns. And we'll go back to where we first caught the first fish. So two fish down on Lake One. We got three more to catch. Hopefully they'll be heavy enough. All right, and that spawn location is not in the front, so it is possible to spawn in the back. Which we would rather catch the fish pretty close to the boat, but it doesn't matter that much in Lake One because the fish are a lot easier to pull in. That looks weird. I've never seen a fish look like that. Is that a bass? Oh yeah, that's a bass. That, that looked a lot fatter than a bass I don't even see. It had the body of a trout, but the fins of a bass. But maybe it was just because of the way it was oriented. But we will catch it, or try to catch it. Or not. I drug it too far. We'll try that again. Hopefully I cast it far enough. That was a little short. Yeah, he's not going to see that. Well, this isn't a very good use of my time right now. There we go. Yeah, that looks a lot fatter than a normal bass. Maybe he just, maybe he's going to weigh a lot. We'll see. All right, I'm going to hook him a little bit earlier here. Hopefully we won't get stuck on these reeds as I try to reel him in. All right, there he is. He's pulling pretty hard there. And looks like he's stuck a little bit on the reed, but hopefully we'll get him off there. There he goes, he's turning. All right. Let's see if we can bring him closer to the boat. He's jumping. Oh. <laughs> That's your RNG for the, for the fish there. Sometimes they'll jump right in front of the boat. Try to break your line there right as you're about to pull him in. And so, those are the mean fish. It wasn't that big. I wonder why it looks so fat. All right, third fish down. We got two more to go for this lake. We'll check over here. Let me go ahead and update our lunkers. We've seen three so far. Well, only one trout. And nothing on there on the right. Down here, it looks like that is another trout. All right, so we've seen two trouts. We'll check over here to the third spawn location. Hopefully we'll see a bass. And we don't. That is a bluegill. Looked like a bluegill. I'm not going to pay attention and make him come to the surface to find out, but it kind of looked like it. Definitely was not a bass. All right, so unfortunately, since we caught a fish in the middle, both of our spawn points that we're going to be trying to catch another bass are going to be on the extreme ends of this area. And we got another bass. All right, good deal. And we got the little ones involved, too. Look at that. All right, so we can get them away. Big one on our lure. There we go. Oh, he's turning around now. Been able to pull them in quickly. Oh, trying to get rid of it. Oh, not jumping. Sure is an active fish so far. Alright, got him in anyway. With a lot of tension on the line. Alright, I 
wasn't so such a heavy fish, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We got one more to go. And we'll check right back at our favorite spot here right in the middle. Where we've already caught two of our fish. We've got one on the left quadrant, one on the right quadrant. One, two in the middle here. And it looks like that is a trout. Couldn't tell there with his mud in. And that is another small trout. All right, so no luck. No luck coming back in here. We'll go back out to reset. And we got a trout. All right, good deal. Let's see if we can get his attention here. I don't think I casted it far enough. So we'll try again. This should be right on top of him. And it is. There we go. He sees it. He's coming after it. Hopefully he'll bite it. He bit it. And we got him. All right. Good deal. Our fifth fish. All right. We're going to do a real quick loop here around the dock. Go ahead and turn in for the tournament. And our next bit of RNG will be what they weigh in as. 34. Okay, 34 is relatively low, so hopefully we can get that high. Gonna have to have some heavy fish here if we're gonna compete next lake. Okay, there we go. That's better. I think we'll get third place, which is all you need. You just need to finish in the top three. Thirty-eight, and we got third place. All right. We'll go to the next lake. And it's foggy again with the wind in our face. This might be difficult to see the fish down here by the shore trees. But we'll try. If they're invisible, well, we'll just add it to another complex uh, game, I guess. Not too complex, but very random. Alright, we will see. And those fish are going to be invisible. Awesome. And there they are. That's where they spawn. We just don't know what they are until they come out. And that is a trout. Alright. This is... Oh, that was not long enough at all. Try that again. I'm too used to fishing short. There we go. Alright. Go find our invisible fish. In 10 feet of water. And there they are mudding. Hopefully it's a bass. 
And it is a bass, but it is a lake one bass. Not a lake two bass. We want to catch the big ones. And the big ones are going to be clearly bigger than lake one fish. They're longer and they're fatter. Alright, let's see if we can get the attention of this one, and we do. Let's see what we got here. That's another trap. No luck on the bass yet. We got one more spot we can check. There you can see the fish, and that is also a trout. The edge of the tree line there is a slightly different color, so you, you are able to see the fish in the foggy weather. Alright, so zero out of four fish seen are lunkers so far. Or not lunkers, I should say. There we go. There's one of our big fish. You can tell how much bigger they are compared to the lake one bass. They look a little bigger when they jump, too. And they're a little harder to reel in, too. But we'll We'll try our best to outwit the fish and see if we can pull them in here quick. Didn't like that. He's a fighter. He is a fighter. It's not letting me pull him anywhere close to the boat. Can't pull away 13 feet. Still, same thing. All right, we got him in that time. Good deal. Hopefully, it turns out to be a nice big one. We're looking for anywhere to 15 to 16 pounds. Would be a really nice one. 9.4, not so nice. We got the attention of a fish. Let's see what kind of fish it is. And we got a catfish. Look at that. With whiskers and all. Let's see what the RNG gives us this time. Hey, it is another bass. All right, good deal. Good. Deal. Oh, he bit it, but he didn't take it. 
There we go. He took it that time. And he jumped with it, too. And we caught him real quick. All right. That was a nice quick catch. Those are the catches we like to see. Hopefully we can see a nice heavy fish. That's decent. That's decent. Better than the nine for sure. I'll go over here and check this side too. Why not? Normally I would go out to respawn it, but it's another fish. I'm going to go ahead and catch him this time. And it is. All right, we're going to go ahead and catch him. Because, or try to at least. Sometimes it just won't let you. Well, we got the interest of another fish. But we only want the big one. Let's see if we can line up with that fish's pattern. Bite it. Ah, I don't think he's going to be interested in it. We'll see. I kind of pulled him too far away from the boat. Oh, maybe. Maybe a little bit. No, no, no. Alright, I'll throw out and see if I can't catch him this time. Definitely don't want to catch him all the way out at 60 feet, but... He actually spawns right around almost 70 feet, really. Let's see if we can get over here away from that other fish. There we go. Oh, we don't have to compete on who's going to bite that lure. Alrighty, we got him on the line. And jumping already. Wow, that was quick. See if we can get him. Nope. All right. This one's a little heavier fish. I can tell based on how 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 uh, strong his indicators show he's pulling. That tells me how strong the fish this might be. Oh, all right, and we got him in quick. Nice. Very nice. Good, good. Better than the nine for sure. All right, this time I'm gonna come out. And hopefully I haven't uh, messed up the spawns for too many, but we'll see, we'll see what's spawning here now. That was our third Lunker seen and caught. And we'll see what's here. Oh good, there's still a fish there. That's good. <laughs> Where I caught the first one. So I'm glad that he has respawned. And we got a Lake Park Pass. Okay. should be another spawn that resets and it does very good we got a fish there let's see if it's a bass and it is another like bass okay we do want to, we do want bass but we want the the bigger bass and just to make sure my theory is sound there should not be a fish here So we'll spend a few seconds to see if the fish will spawn. If it does, great. If not, that's it's it's expected. And no fish there. So okay. So I've locked out two spawn points because I've caught two fish without going back out to the lake map. Two 
two areas the the check instead of three is not too bad, especially when they're right in front of you. That's why I went ahead and caught that fish that was off to the left. So we're looking for two more bass. And there's our third, fourth, third, fourth, fourth one. Yes, fourth one. And he jumped right away. Starting early. Trying to keep him right around 20 feet so when the grass gets pulled in pretty tight, it's pretty hard right here. Uh, but he pulled away right at 14 feet. Ah, almost. Almost got him. See if he's gonna give us a chance here. Nope. There's nothing he can do when he goes to his run phase. Unless he's a very tired, then he can just pull so hard he, he can't run away. guy sure is putting up a good fight. All the way out to 50 feet. Come on. Got scared of the boat. It's going away. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got him. We got our fourth fish. All right. Let's see how big this fish is. 14? No? Oh, man. Hopefully that sizes up. That should definitely size up. Go ahead and update my stats for the current lake. Those stats are powered by Excel and all its wonderful cells. And we got a catfish. All right. Now this far end over here should be unlocked, theoretically, because I have caught a new fish in a new quadrant and have lost my lure. <laughs> Surprised into the wind that the lure flew that far. Alright, I don't know if we've gone out far enough. Yep, there he is. Or her. Not sure. No way to tell the gender of the fish in this game. We'll see what they... Oh, it's a bass. That is good. Here's our fifth and final bass, hopefully. As long as he lets me pull him in. In the first pull, we got the nine feet.
That is a lot of jumping. Let's go, let's go. Nope. Getting closer. I feel it. I feel it. We're getting closer. We got him. Our fifth and final fish for Lake Two. All right. I would say we got about a 50 50 chance to advance in here. This lake is one of the more unforgiving lakes when you're going against the competition. So we'll see what we got going here. Oh. <laughs> that is not good. Although, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully. All right. So that's, we're 10, 10 shy right now. All right, now we're eight shy of third place. Eight pounds shy of third place. Let's see if we can get this. Ooh, ooh, okay. Now we're four pounds shy of third place. We might. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We'll we'll get this. We'll get this. Oh, we got this. Good deal. Good deal. Just barely. All right. And we got it. All right, good deal. All righty, we're heading to Lake Three, where speed runs are won or lost for sure. Lake Three and Lake Four. And we're gonna do a little loop-de-loop -loop, because I am not gonna fish on this lake. Or not in this stage. So the way lay round three works, there's four rounds to this game, and the way the you complete the round, the four rounds, is by winning the fourth round. But to advance to the fourth round, um, stage three is consisted of three rounds, um, and there are what it's one lake. But there are three docks on the lake, and you spawn at different points on the lake for each round. And of those three rounds, you have to place in the top ten to advance to the fourth stage. And you take the best of all three rounds in the top ten, and hopefully you'll get in there. So It's normally not too hard once, once you catch a bunch of nice big fish. So we'll see. This will be the stage that I play, or round that I play, and because it has the closest lily pad, which is right next to the dock here. So that's where we're going to do all our fishing, just right there. And we're hoping for some really big looking bass. So in this weather, they should pop up fairly easily. And there's one right there. All right, that's what we want. If we can get on the mud. No? Maybe they didn't like that color. I'm trying to change the color. It is a little bit bad, so we'll try red. 
But it's good that we found our first uh, lunker there. Or we could get our lure stuck and break. All right, we'll try the other lure that doesn't get stuck as much. And the goal here for a really good speed run would be to catch these bigger fish very, very quickly. And the way we catch fish very, very quickly is by bringing them all the way down to two to one feet in front of the boat and then hooking them. Oh, but he didn't come in. We'll see if we can get him to come back here quickly. Come on, come on. Nope. Oh, he's not gonna, not gonna do that. Ooh, that was close. That was really close. We don't want to spend a lot of time on this, so if it gets too long, I might go ahead and break my line. Which is counterintuitive, but this is a pretty strong fish, so hopefully we can get him in. Oop, that's close. I don't want to risk breaking the line there. Because this is a really nice big fish here. Alrighty. Jumping all over the place. comes down to lake three and lake four, you really don't want to spend long catching the fish because it just eats into your time. Because these, these fish can take a long time to pull in if you don't catch them right away. And we're seeing evidence of that right now. Since this fish was so big, I didn't want to pass up the opportunity. There we go, we got him. Alright, that wasn't too long. That wasn't too bad. Wasn't that a three to four minute fight time? That's a good size. That's a good size. Go ahead and cast over here, see if we can get another one real quick. If not, that's okay. I'll just come out and reset. Oh my goodness, we got another one. Sweet. Very good. All right, we'll see if we can quick catch this one. We almost did the last. The last one was really close. And he was one foot from the boat. Just need to pull him just a little bit. Let's see if we can't get the other one here. Nope, not the little one. Go away, little one. Oh, almost had him. Almost had him. All right. Try a slightly different lure here. Hopefully, it won't get caught. All right, we got him active. Very good. So we got those smaller fish active too, but we don't want them biting our lure when we want this big boy. Stop! Stop biting on it. Uh, that's the big one we want, but we don't want them to fight it four feet, that's for sure. Alright, here we go, here we go. Nope. Oh. Let me try casting a little bit over here. See if we can't uh, entertain our big fish without entertaining the little fish. There we go. Oh no, we got one of them. 
Let's see here. Go away, little one. Go away. I don't want you. No, I didn't want to catch my way out there. Right. There's a chance I might just pull right in, but nope. Good strong pull, but he started jumping. Ah, come on, you need the rest. There we go. Let's see how far we can pull in here. Not too far. Getting him closer, but he's still fighting quite a bit. He does not want to come. There we go. Oh, close. It almost looked like he was coming. Come to the boat. Now he's just playing with me. So my indicator, you'll see it's turning a little, some colors here. That means my fisher's strength is weakening, and uh, the fish will do the same thing eventually once it jumps a bunch of times, but hopefully we'll never come to that point because that means we're fighting the fish for a very long time. All right, that wasn't too bad. I really wish we could have quick caught them, but those smaller fish were in the way and just messing it up, so... All right, so we'll come out of this map here and we'll go straight back in. Because that was the first time I did that and I've caught two fish without coming back out. The right two quadrants will be locked and the left two will not be locked. So we'll have spawn chances to spawn a fish. And we want the big fish to spawn, so. And we got not a big fish. What kind of fish is that? That is a catfish. All right, so we got another lunker and a catfish. One more spawn point over here to check. All 
right on top of a corner of the lily pad. And we got, looks like a pike. You can tell by its pointy nose. So we'll come out and reset the spawns. And check our leftmost areas again. Alright, so they can be spawned left or right. Here and. Man, what a skinny little fish. We're gonna call that a pike. Small one. Definitely not a bass. The bass in this lake are very easily seen. The ones you want to catch, which are the Lake 3 and Lake 4 bass. Because they're so huge. And there's one there, I think. Yep. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yep. Yep. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, we almost had him. Alright, good. We got another another fish to catch here. So that's our third month of seeing. That's good. 50% chance to see him is always good. We're really going to try to do a quick catch here. Man, I'm going to try to set up for this really accurately here, right at two feet. Oh, almost at him. That would have been a good good catch right there. So it's worth ch taking these, you know, three to four or five chances trying to hook these fish right next to the boat because the uh, timer on the catch is only one second. So that's definitely quick when you're trying to do a speed run. Oh, man, he bit. He bit, but he almost didn't quite take it. Third time trying. Or is this the fourth time trying? I've lost count. Alright, so let's see if we can get him here. Oh, man. He just won't take it. A little bit of the RNG playing, playing games with me here. On whether or not the fish... Bites the lure and hooks it in his mouth. Each time he, he puts it in his mouth, I'm trying to set the hook. Nope. Each time he snaps is when he bites. And once you see the strength indicator bars, that means move, start moving. That means you got him on the line. But both the strength indicator bars are right towards the far left means he hasn't gotten on the line yet so now that time I didn't actually pull he uh, he pushed the lure towards the boat kind of drug it in his mouth a little bit so there's a little bit of skill involved with quick catches but for the most part we're just hoping he bites it right in front of the boat Didn't even, didn't even bite at that time. Alright. Get him set up here. Oh man, he didn't bite it, didn't bite it. This will be our third fish, I believe. There we go, that's what we want. So that's a quick catch. That's a good example of a quick catch. He bites it, immediately pick him up into the boat. No fight time whatsoever. Nice and quick. That was a good sized bass. All right, so when I come out and reset the spawn points, there will be the 
place where we caught the other two fish should have spawn points again. Because they should have respawned by this point. And there's another big bass. Awesome. Very good. Very, very good. We will take that. We can get them in the boat quick. That'll be turn out to be a pretty good lake theory. And didn't want to bite them five feet out. I don't want the little one biting. So we'll make a little turn around. See if we can't get him to bite again. There we go, that's all we want. Nice and quick. The fish do have slightly of a predictable pattern, and uh, ultimately you want to try to manipulate that to where he's biting you right in front of the boat. We're gonna go ahead and check this other area over here since this will be our fifth and final fish we'll need to catch once we see them. And, oops. I thought that was the spawn, but he started moving. That wasn't actually it. So. Check one more time. Probably spawning off to the far right. It should be right over here. And it is a small bass, actually. It's a bass, but it's a small one. All right, so I will check right here in the middle, and this will be the last spawn point. Um, I'll check for this little round. And we'll see what we got. And we got a big one. All right, perfect. And this one spawns right at 10 feet, so you don't have a lot of time to pick up the scent, pick up the bass. See, I'm not going to... Not gonna get it that time. He may he may not bite it again because he drug it quite a ways. Let's see if we can get him again. Nah, he's not gonna bite it again. Lost interest after I didn't, didn't catch him the first time there. That's okay. I did not want to hook him while he was swimming away from the boat because that would not be a quick catch. So what we'll do to try to counteract that is we'll try to get him down here. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. He immediately turn left, which is not what we want. I'm going to come straight down. Nope, alright. I'm going to try a different lure. We'll see if that has any better luck in trying to get poles in here. Alrighty. And we got him right at two feet, which is good. Let's swim around. Hopefully he'll bite us. Nope, he did not. Alright. Try that again. Kind of like that technique where he does a little loop de loop around. and Well, I guess it would be this way. He bites the fish. Bites the uh, bait. Alrighty, let's see if we can get him in this time. Oops, that's pretty close. Nah, too close to the boat. He's not biting this lure at all. Let me switch back to the other one and change my color a little bit. Switch it up. Maybe he'll think it's something new. I'll go right after it. If I don't snap my lure again. Oh man. A little bit of RNG there. Against our uh, will. All right. 
right, we got one foot here. Let's see what, what we got to play with. Oh, he bit it. All right, at least he's biting it. Chasing in here. Oh, almost. So the time has turned red because it is now past what my best time has been so far up to this point. So the plus six minutes you see is how much time I've passed my best version of this. Oh, so close. Almost had him. Let's see if I can turn him around real quick. Come on back. Come on back. Nope. He's slowing down. All right. Wasn't able to quick catch him, but since it's our last pass, try to bring him in. Yes. All right. That was pretty much a quick catch. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, so that's all the fish we'll hopefully need to catch for Lake Three. That's a pretty big one. All right. And we'll go right back to the dock, which is a nice quick turnaround here, and see how we match up to the competition. Ninety-two. That's pretty high, but we only need to get in the top ten, so we should be able to do that fairly easily. Maybe about a fifth place. One more, let's see how big this one is. All right, all right, not too bad, not too bad. It's not gonna be 92 pounds. Eighty-three, eighty-three. All right, let's see where we place. Seventh on this round and seventh overall. All right, good deal. So we'll advance to the next stage. Seventh isn't anything to call home about, but all right, we got foggy weather again. So here we're going to do very something very similar as we did on Lake One. Fish right by the dock, and we'll see. There are two spawn points here that are close into the boat. And that's the, hopefully, where we're going to catch all our fish. And that is a trout. No bass there. The little pop you heard as we came into this was supposedly the sonar going off for finding the big fish. So, let's hope that's true. It's not always accurate, but we'll see. Alright, so there's no spawn there, so there should be off to the right here. And there is, but it is a pike. So we're going to come out and go back in. Those are the only two places we really want to try to catch a fish, because those are the places where you can quick catch the fish. And that's essential for a good speed run. And we got a bluegill there by the big short stout body so this is the final stage and we got another trout right there 
So four spawns, no no big bass. The same bass we caught on Lake 3 are going to be the same size bass we want to catch on Lake 4. Very big, and hopefully we'll be in the 20 pound range when we reel them in. And there's nothing there, we'll check over here. And we got our first big bass. See how, how big and wide they are when they're vertical like that. So normally I wouldn't try to catch them on this lure. This lure really is only for hunting the fish. But we'll see how well we can do it. So two feet, see if he comes back around to bite it. If not, I'll switch to the other lure. Try to get him to reel in here. We'll see. Up. Oh, I don't think he's going to go after it. Yeah, he's not going to go after it. All right, well, we'll switch our lure here for the easier to catch. And we'll see what we can do. Got a little bit of lag. I'm pulling pull strength here. and Just barely, barely coming up. All right, so we got little little fish interested too, but we only want the big one. And he didn't bite it yet. Hopefully he's gonna bite it eventually. Come on, come on. Nah, let's change the color here. Sometimes that helps. All right, we've passed the one hour mark. That was my original estimate for how good of a speed run we could do in this game. And I still think we can reach that, but it's gonna require four really good lakes. And that's just hard to do with all this randomness going on. It's not biting that either. All right, so I'm gonna wait a little bit before I go down close to the boat to try to get the fish a little bit more interested in biting this lure. So we're gonna wait out here a little bit, come to the surface, wait, just wait for the fish to come to the surface, which we do. I'm trying to. Drag them over this way, drag them over that way, and we got them. All right, good deal. First fish down. Hopefully it's a big one. We will see. Looking for a 20-pounder here. There we go. Perfect. That'll be good. And I'll look one more time on the left here where the second spawn can be. Because if I can get two spawn at one time, that is really good for Lake 4. Lake 4, the spawns aren't as frequent as in Lake 3 and the other lakes. So anytime you can see one, which that is not one, I believe that's a catfish. Yeah, it's a catfish. And we had one lunker, so we'll come out and reset. Now, unfortunately, when we're working by the dock here with only two spawn points with the uh, close spawns, there are, spawn, there are spawn points off to the, the right in this area, but they are not close to the boat, which we would need for a nice quick catch. So, what we are going to do is hopefully find those uh, quick spawns I'll try a couple stages where I just reset and if I don't get another bass very quickly, I'm going to catch a different fish, which is weird, honestly. I've never caught a non-bass in the speed run, but I might do it this time, depending on what, what the spawns are. All right, no bass over there. And we got something small over there. That's, I guess we'll call that a trout. Alright, we're gonna switch our lures first. 
And we'll try one more time for that spawn. I guess I should check the last spawn point because there is a small chance when you quick catch a bass that it doesn't stir up a lot of the activity. And there's a chance that you could have a not lock out that zone to spawn, so we will check there one time really, really quickly here. And if we don't see a spawn point there, we'll see if we can see one out on the right side. And hopefully it's not a bass. All right. Oh, we do have a spawn point, and it's another big one. <laughs> how, how crazy is that? All right, so I'll get him down here, kind of close. Oh, almost had him, almost had him. We'll change our lure again. Easier to catch lure here. There's a lot of um, obstacles, obstructions on the bottom of the lake here. And the spinnerbait, naturally, when you let go, will sink to the bottom. But what we really want is something on the top of the water so we don't get stuck if for some reason we're not able to pull them in very quickly. There are some obstructions on the top of the water very close to the boat, but those are not a guarantee, guaranteed place to get stuck. You can get stuck there, but they're not guaranteed like the ones on the bottom. So we'll hopefully we'll get this quick catch here. Ah, nope, didn't want to bite it. Looking for a second fish here. Second big bass. I'll do what I did before, is kind of wait out here till he kind of turns around and go towards the boat. There we go. Again, a little bit more interested in biting this lure. Oh, and we did not get up close. That's not, that is unfortunate, especially in this area. It's, a lot of ways to get stuck here. And that well, almost got stuck right there on that log. Don't go deeper. There we go. I'm gonna try to constantly pull him to hopefully weaken him. Weaken myself, so I'll be able, to be able to pull more and hopefully get him into the boat. That was close. Alright, this is where it could get stuck, which is not good. He's weak, so. But he's on the bottom. I need to bring him to the top. Come on, come to the top. Come on, come on. Why is he on the bottom there? Ah, this take too long. I'm going to break the line. That was unfortunate, but sometimes... The RNG it gives you, you gotta pick your pick your battles here, and that that's a battle I was not gonna fight. All right, so we'll see if that indeed really did lock out this spawn point here. There's nothing there, and there's nothing there, so that did lock out that spawn point. Unfortunately, sometimes a missed fish ca counts as a caught fish and disturbs the area too much. The fish don't come back around.
And we got another catfish, unfortunately. All right. All right, so what am I going to do? So I'm going to try to catch another fish out here to reset the spawn points off to the left. And we got a little guy. He looks like a good one to catch. And we'll see if we can reel him in here quickly. <laughs> and he's fighting, look at that. He's just a little guy. Alright, good, we got him. Alright, so what that will do is that will uh, force the other side to reset and spawn another fish. At least it should, in my uh, experience. So these two areas here should contain spawns now. And since they're close spawns, those are the ones we want. So I've got a double chance of catching the bass now, hopefully. And nothing there. And nothing there. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it didn't reset the spawn. Maybe I caught him too fast. This one should definitely still be there, though. And we got a... I think that's a Lake 2 bass. Just see the double check. Yeah, it's a Lake 2 bass. So we don't want to catch him. Yep, quick catching is the name of the game if you want to do a really good speed run. You got 20, chance, 20 chances to catch a fish. Ooh, there's a good one. That's the kind of one we want. Only problem is I have the wrong lure right now. Let's see if we can get him to come to service. Oh, he did. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Nope. All right, I'm going to switch my lure because... Need the one on the surface for this one. And we got a little bit of lag. And hopefully we'll get our fish coming after the lure pretty strong here. Nope, don't bite that. Alright, I don't want to catch him. He's going away from the boat. Oh, almost at him. Hopefully it won't take too many times to get this fish in. Alright, he's on the surface. That's good. I don't want him stuck on the bottom. There we go. That's all he wants. Sweet. All right. Good deal. All right. That is our second fish. Three more to go. And another nice big one. All right. That is a good one. Switch back to my faster lure in this condition here. The spinner bait stays on top when you're uh, reeling in, and so it's a lot easier to get past all these obstacles. And all right, good. We got that spawn point. Spawn point. Spawning again. But this time it was a bluegill. We'll see if our quick catch spawn point is still there. Or did that reset? Reset, no, that's okay. It's out to the left, so we can reset the ones out in the middle first. And it doesn't look like a reset, so we'll go back out and try to hopefully get a bass to spawn in the, the one that's just on the middle left. The 
the middle right and the far right spawn points are all 60, 65 feet uh, out. Which are not good for quick catching. And that looks like a trout. So we'll come back out and reset. We're still doing pretty good for a timing standpoint. If we do get another record here, it won't be very, won't be by a long shot. But we're on good pace so far. And that is another trap. That was actually our third bass scene. I broke my line on one on purpose because he got stuck. That is a really small fish. All right, so I'm gonna add one more bass to the statistics there. About what to expect, nothing better than a 20% chance spawn rate on lake four, unfortunately. There are other areas in the lake which have four close spawn points for the section, but um, those are a lot farther away from the dock. So it saves a little bit more time just coming in and out of here. But it's all, you're all at the fate of the RNG of this game because there's so much involved, but there's a few things you can do to try to tweak it, which is what we're doing here, to try to reset the spawns. That was a bass before, but now it changed to a trout. Interesting. But every time we come back, go out and come back in, it resets the spawn. There we go, another big fish. That's what we want. Get its attention. And we'll reel it in here, hopefully. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna switch my lure back to the surface one. So hopefully we can bring this in. This will be our third. Third bass caught. All right, fish is coming after it. That's good. That's good. Wind it down here. Didn't quite take it. He keeps turning away from it. Uh-oh, is he stuck? Yeah, I think he's stuck. I'm not going to set the hook once he turns away from it, because I won't be able to quick catch him, so... Get him, get him when he's coming straight down, or, or to, the, to, the, to the left a little bit, or to the right. To the right, I mean. Because most of the time, the fish will turn when he's trying to run away, most of the time will turn to the left. So if he turns to the right here, when he's biting, like that, he'll come right down and catch him. So you can manipulate them just a little bit. So they come straight to the boat. Alrighty, that one will probably size up to 20, so 
so far the first three fish are gonna help me kind of help put me in the lead all right so we need to catch two more before we turn in so far it's going pretty well for lake lake four not too bad I've seen worse, a lot worse, and I've seen better too. Nothing there, nothing there. All right, so we might have no spawns here right now, which we might have to try to manipulate the RNG again if that is the case. And we got no spawn there. And a stuck lure. And, oh, we have a spawn here. So, okay, so this one stayed here. That is a trout, though. So we can at least check that area over and over again. For a bass. And they've been showing up rather frequently. So right at, right, right close to 20%. So that's, that's pretty decent for late four. Ooh, such a little guy. And another big fish. All right. What we want. That's what we want. All right. Hopefully this will be our fourth catch here. Uh oh. It's not coming up. Oh, there he is. Coming up. Coming up. Get him going over. Oh, almost had him. If I don't get him on the first try there, I'm not gonna try again with that torture and lure. Now, even though the fish, if the fish does bite the lure when he's on the bottom. I'm of the walk of the lake, your your fisherman will still grab him if he's twenty feet down, which is kind of comical. Not that anyone has twenty foot long arms, but it will still will let you grab him out of the water at that depth. Oh, I thought he had it in his mouth, but he didn't. Close, close. gonna get it so close all righty let's see if we can get him landed here Didn't go after it. I'm gonna change my color here. See if that attracts him any better. Normally it doesn't matter, but he did he did uh start mud in there quick. See if he's any more aggressive against this this color of a lure. Oh, he bit it. Not hard enough though. There we go, we got him. All right, good deal.
All right, that's our fourth fish. We get one more to go. We'll be ready to turn in final. 18, that's good, that is good. I'll take it. And we'll have to see where we can spawn a fish here. Switch back to our faster search lure. And see if we got any spawns. None there. And one there. Which one is that? That is a trout, I believe. Alright, so we got one spawn point. That's good. That'll increase our odds for sure. We'll see if this second spawn point is spawning. Spawning any fish. After that quick catch. Nothing there. And nothing there. So we'll just deal with that middle one for now. See if we can't get them to hook on or spawn another bass for us. That is our fifth bass seen. But only fourth bass caught. Unfortunately, uh, did not quick catch that first one. and Had to break the lure. Because he got stuck. That looks like a trout. And another trout. Oh, wow, what a small one. That's definitely not one we want to catch. Oh, another trout. Oh, some drop frame rates there, that's not good. And I believe that is a, is that a big fish? I don't think so. That's a small one. It looked big, but it was small. When they're standing straight out like that, vertical, it's hard to tell sometimes how big he is. That is a pike. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Still before 8 o'clock tournament time, so that's good. Nothing there. Alright, that's our big fish. Okay, yeah, that's the, that's the one we need. Let's see if we can catch him here on the spinner bait here. First time. That would be nice, wouldn't it? And we did. Awesome. Fifth fish caught. That's what we want. A nice quick catch. You see the fish? You catch the fish. That's what we want. 19 pounds is good. That's our fifth fish caught. Go ahead and turn in here. Hopefully. Quickly. The time is coming up.
Alrighty. We'll see what the competition brings. 96. Alright, not bad, not bad. As long as all our fish are weighing. Oh yeah, we got this. We got this. 19 pounds for my lightest fish. Yep. Alrighty, it's gonna be another good run. I'll just see how far under the record I can get here. It's only gonna be a couple minutes. But it looks like it will be another world record. Like I said, and as you witnessed there in the last couple seconds, the real key to getting a good speed run here is quick catching fish. It saves so much time. 103, all right. And there's our new world record, 129.12. All right, good deal. Man, that record just keeps getting broken. I think we can do better too. I mean, that was my sixth bass seen on that, that lake. So, update my stats. Just around a 20% chance catch rate for that uh, current lake. We'll look at uh, the run stats. I had a 33% chance to find a lunker. Um, same for the trout, a little bit less for the regular sized bass, catfish, and pike, and bluegill. All-time lake stats, looks like it's a little bit less than 20%, 15.8%. Uh, and then we'll look at the all-time game stats, which is just a ton of ton of stats to look at, which are 28, just around 30% chance to find a uh, lunker. So, which is what you want to find in this game. So, but anyway, um, I'll probably be submitting this run for the record. Why not? I just beat it. So, we'll see. But uh, thank you for joining me if you did. Hopefully uh, you learned some good good strats about this game. I did catch a trout, a non-bass, in this, this uh, record, which was kind of funny um, to help reset the uh, RNG and kind of manipulate the RNG a little bit, which I'm still kind of in the early process of figuring out. But other than that, uh, I think that's about it for me. So uh, this is Ethna signing off. You guys have a great night.